So I think when most people hear the word cancer, they immediately think they're going to die. And that's very much not the case. The prostate cancer is very treatable. It's a very slow growing cancer. And that's one of the advantages of detecting it early is you can get rid of it. And then uh, in this period where it's very slowly growing, you know, it may, may, may be a five year window where we can cure it. Whereas a lot of other cancers, that window might be five weeks. We can get in there and do simple interventions early to treat early prostate cancers and, and almost negate the need for a lot of these treatments in the long term. And we just need to have that culture shift so that patients are, and men are happy to come in at an early stage, have a simple test so that we can actually diagnose these, these cancers at an early stage. And then once we make the diagnosis, it's not a cancer that, that kills people quickly. You know, this is something that we can often treat, we can often delay its growth, and many people get a diagnosis but live in completely normal life expectancy. The, the real trick with it is to actually make sure that it's managed appropriately so that they can have a normal life. When diagnosis happens, it's quite interesting to see the difference between uh, how you deal with men and women with cancer. As a urology specialist, I do deal with women with cancer as well as, uh, as men with cancer. And it's not uncommon that you'll see the guy come back after you've already told that he's had cancer and he still hasn't decided to tell his wife about it. You know, he will come back and by himself and he's like, well, I haven't really decided what to do. And often it's a case of denial and that's often the denial that actually delays them coming in in the first place. Often if you diagnose a lady with cancer, she'll come back in with her husband, her best friend, her daughter, her son, everybody in support around them. And it's really a sort of a cultural attitude that needs to change. You know, I do have great hope for the future. I think that we continue to have better treatments uh, for prostate cancer. We have more and more options that we can fight this disease from. The difficulty is, is that we aren't tending to get through to people that you need to have early, early detection. It doesn't matter what we do at the end of the, the end of a patient's journey to improve the chances of, of, of their cure, if there's an unnecessary five or ten years that we've missed beforehand where the, the cancer could have been diagnosed. You know, what, what you worry about is you worry about being diagnosed with prostate cancer. Now that's not the thing to worry about. The thing to worry about is not being diagnosed with prostate cancer if you have it. If you, if you have it, we can do something about it. If you ignore it, put your, uh, hide from it, and then you end up presenting when it's at a stage where we can't cure it, that's the bit that you should be worried about rather than the, the having the test.